So if you experience a pain or tingling or numbness in your low back, your buttocks, the back of your upper leg, your calf, and maybe all the way into your foot, then you might be struggling with a pinched sciatic nerve or sciatica. Stay tuned for the best exercises to relieve that pain immediately. So sciatica occurs when the biggest nerve in your body, the sciatic nerve, is being pinched. And the nerve runs from your lower back, through your buttocks, the back of your upper leg, the back of your lower leg, all the way down to your foot. Now the pinching normally occurs in the lower back. So it could be pinched by a slip disc, it could be pinched by some wear and tear, it could have several other factors to pinch the nerve as well. Uh, a pinching uh, by the piriformis muscle, which runs in your buttocks, is also a big culprit, a big cause for the, for the problem. And I will demonstrate a great stretch for that muscle later on in this video. But what I'm going to focus on mainly are nerve flossing techniques. So with no flossing techniques, what you do is you keep moving that sciatic nerve and thereby decreasing all the symptoms that you feel in your leg. We're going to start quite easy and then move on to a bit more advanced techniques. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to demonstrate some nerve flossing techniques to you now. I'm going to start with some really easy techniques you can do and then if it all goes well, you can move on to the more advanced techniques. So many of my patients who experience sciatica where the nerves being pinched is they have difficulty even putting the leg straight on the ground, on the floor. So the first exercise we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate using a foam roller, but you could also use maybe a, um, a cushion, just fold in half, fold a double and use a cushion. But you need to have some elevation underneath your knee. So the first thing we're doing, very simple, number one, is you place your knee on top of a foam roller, support yourself on your elbows in this case, yeah? And just what you do now is you move your foot up and down. So my left foot is now moving up and down. And by moving up and down, I'm slowly flossing the nerve. I'm pulling the nerve through um, its anatomical position. So we're just moving the, the foot up and down. See if there's it. So you can feel now maybe a, a, an ache or a pain or maybe tingling down the back of your leg. Absolutely fine. You can have a bit of a symptom, but it shouldn't increase too much. Yeah? So it's a good exercise to do initially. Just move your foot up and down. See if this goes well. If this goes well, what you can do now, I'm supporting myself with my elbows, is now I'm going to sit upright. So sitting upright, supporting myself in this position here, I and mean, this might be too much at once, so you go maybe, you could uh, lean back a little bit, but generally what we want to be, get to is sitting upright. Now we're doing the same thing. Just all we're doing now is pulling our foot up and down. And we do about 10, 20 repetitions, then you stop again for about a few seconds, and you do again a few 10 to 20 repetitions. This will really help with your sciatica. So we're sitting up and uh, sitting upright and putting your foot up and down. Now the next step we can do is sit upright and now arch our back. So I'm now actively arching my back, still putting my knee on top of the foam roller, arching my back. And now in this arch position, same thing, foot up and down. So this is step number three. Foot up and down, and again you can feel that, you can feel a bit of an ache at the back of your leg, absolutely fine. Foot up and down, yeah, but whilst you're arching your back. Okay, so if this goes well now, step number four is now we are removing our foam roller. So we're removing the foam roller. Yeah, and then we can sit back a little bit better with a straight knee. Uh, you might have to sit back a little bit to see what's going on, see, make sure it's happening. And again, sitting with a straight knee, move your foot up and down and pull that nerve. You can imagine you pull that nerve through uh, all the openings and you try to floss that nerve. Huh? Sit upright again. Yeah, sitting upright again, do the same thing. Yeah, so you pull it back and forth for about uh, 10 times, you rest for about a few 10, 20 seconds, and you do this again. You can do this all day long. There's actually no maximum amount of times you can do this. And if this goes well, now what we're going to do is we're going to arch our back. So flat knee, arch the back, and then we're going to, again, pull our toes as far towards us as we possibly can, and foot down. Toes up and foot down. Yeah, so now we have arched our back, flat knee, and we're putting our toes towards us. Yeah? Now another thing you can do, if this goes well, is when you put your toes towards you, put your chin on your chest. So, toes towards me. So, toes towards me, arched back, chin on my chest, here, yeah? and you can hold this for a few seconds, and down again, yeah? So, toes towards me, straight knee, chin chest, and hold this for a few seconds. This is a tough one, this is a tough one. So, you, you, should, you should be able to do all the other ones quite easily before you actually um, start with this one. So toes towards me, chin on my chest. There we are. Yeah, and that's something you could do. So those are, that's a build up 
of a nerve flossing technique. Now, if this goes well, you can now make it a bit harder and you can add a chair or a bit of elevation. So you can use a chair or maybe you can use a table or something to put your heel on. So let me get my chair in here. So I'm going to lean back a bit again, uh, just decrease the tension a bit. So I put my feet on top of the chair, yeah, straight knee on top of the chair. And all I do now is I'm going to pull my toes again towards me. Yeah, so straight knee, pull my to toes towards me. You repeat about 10 times, do three sets, pull towards you. Just flossing, just a flossing technique. So it's a dynamic technique. You would keep on going and flossing this. Yeah? And again, if this goes well, just simple, sitting upright again a bit more. Yeah, upright a bit more, same thing, flossing, flossing. Toes towards me and toes away from me. Toes towards me, toes away from me. Now, and the last one, I've done this before. Now we arch our back, arch our back, and we do the same thing. You really feel this in the back. I can feel this now in the back of my, back of my hamstring. Yeah, so up and forwards. And you do this again, 10 repetitions, about 10 times. So those are your first exercises now, really good exercises from uh, quite easy to quite advanced to do some nerve flossing. Yeah? So I'm gonna demonstrate a, a, a stretching technique for the piriformis muscle. The, the sciatic nerve runs through the muscle, so you need to stretch that muscle as well. That might give you some relief. But I'm also going to demonstrate some exercises you laying face down. So if you can't sit on your back or straighten your knee, I'm gonna demonstrate some different exercises for you you can do prior to getting into this uh, 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 sciatic stretch routine. So in about 20% of the population, the sciatic nerve actually runs through the muscle belly of a muscle called the piriformis. So you can have sciatic-like symptoms. Normally, that those, uh, the, the compression of the nerve originates or starts in the lower back, but in 20% of us, it could actually come from the buttock area as well. So what you need to do is you need to stretch the muscle. Now, I need to demonstrate two variants of this stretch to you uh, because the first variant we're gonna demonstrate is the most efficient variant, but it doesn't work for everybody. So um, what you need to do is lay on your back. Now I'm gonna demonstrate for you on the left side. I'm placing my left foot ankle on my top of my right knee. Yeah. Yeah. And now you can already feel this. If you feel this, you're, you're, you stay in this position, you hold this position. But if you don't feel it yet, what you do is you grab hold of your right leg in this case, your right shin, and you pull your right leg towards you. And this really stretches out the muscle here in your buttocks. So that's why you should feel it. So you hold this for about 10 seconds. You repeat three to five times, and then you can do this throughout the day, to be quite honest. You do three sets, and you can do this throughout the day. So you really stretch this, and you can feel initially, you can feel some of those symptoms coming on. You can feel maybe a bit of a pain or a tingling or a numbness in the leg coming on. That's absolutely fine. It shouldn't be too much, but if you feel a little bit, fine, no problem at all. So that's a good stretch to the piriformis muscle. It works for in the majority of cases, but I'm gonna show you a variant because this stretch doesn't work for everybody. Now, the other one you can do to stretch the muscle, depends a little bit on how it runs anatomically in your body, is I'm now placing my left foot on the outside of my right knee. I'm pulling the knee towards my chest and I'm rotating my body away or towards the, the affected side. Yeah, so now the same thing, I'm feeling at the outside of my hip and here in my buttocks area. So I'm really pushing, pulling the leg towards my chest. Sit upright, don't slouch, nicely sit upright. And then hold this stretch here again, 10 seconds, repeat three to five times and do three sets. Yeah, so you hold this again for about 10 seconds. And again, this will probably reproduce, if it is the piriformis that's causing your sciatica, this will reproduce the symptoms in your leg as, a, as in a pain, a numbness or a tingling. This is a great exercise to do as well. Um, to reduce the sciatica in your leg. So some of my patients I give these exercises to really struggle with those initial ones I've given you where you're on your back and you're trying to put your toes up and out. They just simply can't do it. So if you're one of those patients, then these next exercises are for you. And these exercises will be able to give you some pain relief in your leg. So what you need for that is a, a towel. I've got a roll-up towel here. I've used some elastic bands to roll this up. Um, and I'm gonna put you in a certain position. And the position I'm gonna put you in is called the road kill position. And what you need to do is you lay face down. You place, in this case, the, the rolled-up towel underneath my left leg. So I'm assuming I've got a sciatica in my left leg. So place it under the hip on my left side. And in the road kill position, I'm raising my leg up. I've got about a 45 degree angle in my hip and 90 degree angle in my knee. So this is the first position I need to put myself in. And just lay in this position for about a minute and see if that reduces the pain in your leg. 
Now, if it does relieve the pain, what you can do now is you can move on to the next stage of the exercise. And it's very simple. Simply just go rest yourself on your elbows. Again, in this position. So I've got still the towel underneath my hips in the roadkill position and rest on the elbows and hold this again for one minute and see if this subsides the pain, if the pain goes away. Now, again, you're allowed to have a little bit of symptoms, a few symptoms in your leg. That's not a bad thing, but it shouldn't become worse. It shouldn't aggravate it. So you stay in this position for about a minute. Now, and this goes well, what you do now is you place your hands underneath your shoulders and you push yourself up even more. Yeah, and you hold this position for about five seconds. This is quite an intense position. So hold this for five seconds and you come down again. Yeah, and the same thing. Use some sort of pumping actions, you can see. So you hold this, again, five seconds and come down again. And you do about 10, 15 repetitions. Take a bit of a break and then repeat this again. So this is the roadkill position to give you some pain relief in your, uh, in your leg. Now, if this all goes well, you move on to the next stage. And this we go from roadkill position to a straight leg position. But I've still got the towel underneath my hip. Yeah? So I'm, I'm just shifting my pelvic position a little bit so I'm freeing up the nerve. Yeah? And the same thing here. So you lay here for about a minute. Now if that goes well for a minute, what you do is you rest yourself on your elbows for one minute. Again, you're allowed to have a few symptoms in your leg. Absolutely fine. Rest on your elbows for a minute. And if that goes well, then you place your hands again underneath your shoulders and you push up. You hold this for about five seconds and come down again and you do about uh, five to ten repetitions very gently push up yeah and then i'm sure there you are and if this goes well and you're not getting an increased symptom in your leg but actually it's starting to ease off a bit that'd be a great time then to go back to those neural flossing exercises i've demonstrated in the beginning of this video so if you can't do those exercises these are fantastic exercises just to get into it and to free up the nerve a little bit so you can then move on to those neural flossing exercises i hope you've enjoyed the video please don't hesitate leave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel or leave a comment in the box down below if you know anyone who's struggling with sciatica feel free to forward this video to them so they can be helped as well for now i'd like to say take care of yourself take care of someone else please as well if you can and bye for now bye bye